previously on Let's Play Manhunt 2. He used to be Danny's best friend. I'm sorry, Danny, but, but, but it's gotta be this way. The Pikmin Bridge. Remove it. You thought I would do that. You're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> Michael? Where are we? But when Michael sold them out to the project. Both targets. What? Not both targets, not me, you fucking asshole! They're gonna be here any minute. Now, oh, Mike's still got the keys. We're gonna have to find him. Leo knew he had to die. What is the Pikmin Bridge, and just who is Leo? If the project wants a war, they got one. One of these questions will be answered. Eventually. I'm uh, trying something a little bit different today. I'm gonna uh, do a live playthrough this game, so-called. Let's load the game. Yes, I'm sure. I don't like it, but I'm sure. I asked for it, and now I'm gonna get it. You killed Michael? That fucker double-crossed us. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Those cops knew who you were. You're gonna have to change those clothes. Tell me about it. It's filthy. <laughs> uh, Danny, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to hold that thing like that. <laughs> Judy? Well, Michael said they messed with my head. I mean, if Danny had, uh, Danny had psychic powers, why didn't you just use those? Okay. Um, hold on a second. I gotta turn down the sound. Because I can barely hear myself talk. And hearing myself talk is pretty important. I just love my own voice. Alright, so here's the safe house. There's not really not much to it. Oh, it sounds like there are bums outside. It's kind of scary. So, anyway, here's uh, Danny's shrine or something. It's got many paper clippings that are essentially the same. Here's a picture of a guy. Another picture of the same guy. And here's a photograph of uh, what I'm assuming is Danny and his wife. Looks like he used to have contacts or something. I wonder why he doesn't have contacts now. Maybe they were irritating his eyes. Maybe he just took off the glasses while they were taking the picture. I don't know. So, and apparently he's got big bottles of ketchup laying around. So, uh... If you were stupid, or you didn't know what was coming up, maybe you thought you were playing Manhunt and not Manhunt 2, you might switch out the gun, the less fun weapon, for something more fun like the crowbar. Well, that's a big no-no in this stage because this is where uh, all the shooting begins. All the shooting and shooting and more shooting. Now, we could shoot that lock off, but I don't really want to waste a bullet. I mean, there we go. I mean, not not that we'll be running out of bullets. There'll be plenty of bullets. Let's head up. Let's head upstairs here. Who are these fucking people? Oh, it's you again. Fuck off, you little shit bag. What did you say to me? This is revenge. This is revenge. What the fuck? Yeah, that's it. You better run. <laughs> Get back here, you fuck. And I'll teach you to punch me. Hold on a second. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, headshot. It's a good thing the enemies can't headshot us. They can headshot each other, though. Oh, shit. You know, there's a really funny, uh... A really funny, um... Hold on a second. Damn it, Danny, he saw you! You're surrounded, you're crazy. Crazy! As you can see... The revolver is quite a bit more powerful than the gun we had in the last stage at the Fisto Sugar Factory. Keep it up, Danny. This is nowhere near over. And one of the things that this game likes to do is they like to... Come on, take cover. There we go. They like to throw enemies one side of the map, and then when you kill them, more enemies come from the other side of the map. It's a pretty uh, typical thing that games like to do. And this game is pretty typical, aside from the ultra gore. I'm doing this. Fuck this. 
fuck you. And... Ow, hey, there we go. Um, you gotta be more careful at this point in the level because, like I said, the revolvers are much more dangerous. They do a lot more damage. And there's more guys coming at you faster. Um, so, yeah. Before we move on, I think there's some painkillers in this cupboard here. Like I was trying to say before, before we got interrupted, there's a funny, uh, funny voice clip that plays there, and I'm sure I'll stick that in the end. You know, just, just for you guys. Hold on a second. There we go. Yeah. Alright. Now, on for more, some more shooting. You know, okay, so at this point it's telling you that that gravel right there will make noise if you walk on it. So instead of walking like you normally do, you have to sneak like this. Um, that makes you think that sneaking is actually an option. But, seriously? Where uh, it's your friendly neighborhood death dealer. Yeah! <laughs> and Leo's at least enjoying himself. Um, damn. Right, so... Uh oh shotgun. Did you see that? If that guy had gotten his point blank, well... Curtains for us. And, uh... Right, so guns in this game do something to the AI. It does something terrible. It makes them stand in one spot, uh, stare down a hallway. They almost seem psychic. They, they know where you are, and they look down that direction. They will not look away for anything. And thanks to very linear uh, parts of the level like this, it's pretty much impossible to sneak up on them. So... It's a little disappointing. I know when I got to this point in the level, I, the first time I played this game, I remember thinking, you know, I, I really want to use the gun executions, but, uh, well, it's just, wasn't meant to be in Manhunt 2. Um, another thing about gun executions, um, there's another bomb. Oh, shit. Gotcha. You know what? That guy didn't hurt us. It was really only that other guy that killed us, so... I'm gonna let him go. Alright, let's reload this bad boy. So, uh... Right. I mentioned earlier, the PC version only has two gun executions. There's executions for the pistols, and there's execution for the long weapons, the shotguns. And that's it. And I'll be showing you the gun execution shortly for the shotgun, that is. So, yeah. Another, uh, <laughs> another linear shooting section. Now, so, thing is, one thing that really annoys me about this game is that Headshots only register if there's the lock on. Okay. Um. Oh, hey! We're running out of people to kill. Oh, jeez. I think Leo just creamed his pants. <laughs> um. Right. There's. You can't get headshots unless the game says it's okay. Nom 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 nom. Painkillers. Um. Right. You can't get a headshot unless the. Unless the game says it's okay. So you can shoot him in the head as many times as you want at long range. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. That's okay, because the revolver is very powerful. Now, um, where do you think we're supposed to go? Supposed to go here, maybe? No? Oh, well, that's just a, that's just a wall. And, oh, there's a hole here. You see, it's almost impossible to see it. At least it was for me the first time I played. Okay. All right, and here's the game just telling us that we can do gun executions. And, uh, here's probably the worst part of the game coming up, or the best part. Depends on what you're looking after, I guess. There we go. There's a lot more scum to kill, Danny. Come on. Reload here. I want, I want you guys to prepare yourselves, steal yourselves for this. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, we want to get to cover quickly here. And we want to get rid of the shotgun guy. And uh, these people will close the distance on us fairly quickly, so we want to, uh, we want to take them out quickly. And uh, they actually programmed a spread. It's actually kind of impressive. Um, all right. Very short stage, just getting us used to the the idea of getting in very long, boring shootouts. Let's take a look at the posters first before we get out of here. Harry Palmer and the Goblin. <laughs> uh, Lewis does London. And Heidi Hole. Low. What? I, I can't read that other part. Uh, a hole in one. Ha ha ha. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm sick of this. Tell me about it. Oh, oh, Leo, <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> you see Leo? Oh my god, look at <laughs> Leo is a laugh riot. He really is. He's a laugh riot. And that was Safe House. Very short stage, mercifully. Um, only ten minutes long. <laughs> um, yeah. Now... I know I complain a lot about the shootouts, and there are a lot of them in Manhunt 2, but we do go back to the whole sneaking around thing, too. It doesn't just do shootouts, fortunately. Well, I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Manhunt 2. I'll see you next time. I doubt the target is even here. Spangler, look for Higgs and Spaulding. They should be coming from the adult specialty shop. It's called porno, genius. Why is it always me that has to look? <laughs>